Good morning, Pokefans. Welcome back to a brand new video. My name is Matt, and we're going to continue our season running climb using a team that we built from scratch. Now, there's a couple of things that I'm hoping that will improve things over time. Life improvements. Something like that along the lines that a lot of the gaming industry uses. I'm not 100% sure what the term is. I forgot, and I can't remember at the moment. I'm hoping that these improvements will benefit you as well as me. I've noticed in the last few videos that I've recorded that the audio on my end has been kind of, it sounds like I'm peaking or something else, and I'm not 100% sure what the cause of that is. So I, decide, I decided to go back and look at everything and see what I can do to make changes. Maybe have a better sounding voice, maybe raise up the, you know, the game audio, because sometimes for some reason it was incredibly quiet. But when I checked the options, the music was just fine. So, okay. So I've been kind of changing things around so I don't peek as often and I hopefully have a, a softer voice. Maybe this will allow me to like do a little bit more editing at, in post. So do me a favor before we get started with our battles, please let me know how I sound. I have a bias, I hear myself all the time, but I want to hear from you guys first and foremost, and I'm hoping that I don't crack anything, because it, it'll bug me if that ever becomes a thing. Without further ado, let's get into our matches and see how we turn out for the first five. Let's go. Okay, looks like that we have a pretty good pretty good team against us. We have Articuno, Nine Tails, which is a low end. The Swing Arcanine, Water Pond, uh, Ogre, uh, Water Ogre Pond, Landorus Incarnate, as well as Raging Bolt. A lot of these Pokemon that you probably see like everywhere. Uh, Hisuian Arcanine hasn't been seen as much, but I do see Raging Bolt, Landorus Eye, and Water Ogre Pond. Good combos for a lot of different things out there. Now, Articuno Alolan Ninetales? Not so much. It has one like the Ur Utrecht? Urtrecht? It was the special event over in the EU, and that's what won the uh, special event there. So, but our answer, which I'm hoping is gonna be a good one. Um, let's walk in with Thunderous Roaring Moon and we'll walk in with the Dushi, because we don't have to worry about a lot of priority. I mean, Raging Bolt is gonna be like carrying Thunderclap, but a lot of people have been swapping over to uh, Electro Web as well as Thunderbolt and either Dragon Pulse or uh, Draco Meteor. I'm kind of excited to see what these, what this player is gonna do, but I'm not sure. I do apologize if I sound you know, a little bit slower. Been a been a rough morning, but I'm hoping that it won't really affect me in my, in my game game time. So we have Below and Nine Tails and Raging Bolt versus Thunderous and the Moon. So we're automatically put into pressure just because of the Below and Nine Tails. And if we Terra, we open ourselves up for something even worse. So, what I would like to do instead... Mm, I mean, I kind of want a Thunder Wave. The Alolan Ninetales, but I'm the, I'm the fastest thing on the field. The Wind Bolt. I think that's like the best option. We can go Wild Bolt. I want... I don't think that's going to be a good call to swap. I want to know what Raging Bolt is carrying. Yeah, let's knock off the Raging Bolt. Regular Terra, it's going to go Nine Tails? Probably the Raging Bolt. Raging Bolt becomes the Terra target. Terra target, Fairy. Not gonna be as effective, but it's still gonna do a lot of damage. And we got a crit, that's cool. And we took away the assault vest. Here comes the wild bolt. So do a little bit more damage. War veil kicks in. Okay. The web. It is gonna lower down the speed. That's totally fine. Instead, what I'll do now is. Oh. <clears throat> I'm gonna use Thunder Wave on the Alolan and Nine Tails. I have priority, so it's gonna do that. I don't know what they're gonna plan on doing, but I'm gonna use Tailwind so that Electro Web isn't gonna do any good. 
in their favor whatsoever. So that's what I'm hoping. I just don't want to get hit with Thunderclap right now. I think it will knock me out. I think. Anyway. There is, there is, well, since I'm not terra it's not going to be as, as good. And I think dragons generally just ignore electric attacks anyway. So I shouldn't say ignore. They take, they take a uh, very few. I'm not 100% sure, but we'll find out. Downwind activates, Thunder Wave goes through Draco Meteor. This is going to take him out. Down goes Roaring Moon. Which is totally fine, I got Tailwind off. Up comes Blizzard. This is... yep. And again, I'm totally okay with that. It's a good thing that we saved our Terra for this point, because now we can actually put on a really good offensive the die. So order up isn't going to do anything on um, Raging Bolt, but we're going to be putting a lot of pressure on that side of the field because now we're going to have plus two to all of our stats and we have Tailwind active. So we're looking pretty good. Okay, we're gonna Terra Earthquake. It's gonna do half damage because the Roar Veil is still up. I don't, I'm not sure what item the Nine Tails is gonna carry. Probably Light Play. But if this does the damage that I think it's going to do, we should be set. Now, the cool thing about Raging Bolt is because he was wearing the Assault Vest, he can't protect. So we don't have to worry about him being defensive at all. Uh, we removed that uh, back there. And then we paralyzed the uh, Aloha Nine Tails too. So we swap out of that. Uh, this is Landers. Historic Genius. That's. That's a weird ball, and like the Cherish Ball was in there too. I'm not sure how they got the Cherish Ball. That might have came from an event, but the Historic Genius thing is something that we got like a long time ago. Earthquake. I'm not going to hit the Tatsugiri or the Landris, but it is going to hit the Nine Tails. Are you serious? Are you serious? That's so funny. Like, even, like, I, I know, no, I know, I know, Oroville kicked it, this up, it's doing its thing. Um, we're gonna wave crash into the Landris. We need to have it get knocked out right now because we have a uh, problem. Bop. Uh, Sludge Bomb. Move on into a uh, the recoil damage is going to be a lot, but now the Nine Tails didn't do anything. So that's cool. Um, we have Tailwind for one more turn, I think. And they're... One Pokemon down. Or just work. Okay. What a Uh, okay. For one more turn, I'm going to order up on the Articuno. I'm not going to do as much damage. But we're going to get a plus one in attack. Tatsugiri avoids. Tanzo gets hit. And the Lowen Ninetales can't do anything because uh, Noah stopped. And now they don't get a defense buff. Because of that, Talon's now gone, Snow is now gone. They could still swap. But they have Aura Veil for three more turns. So, what do I want? That's Earthquake. With through the Nine Tails so that they can come in with uh, more Snow. The Treasure Hunter, okay. Nope. Wait. 
That's a great avoid. Doesn't affect the Articuno. It is going to knock out the Raging Bolt. So now, this depends on what Articuno is going to do. Blizzard, we miss Toxigiri, and the Don. Let's go. But now they become 100%. Now that's one less turn of Aura Veil that I have to worry about. The Pokey thing. Oh, I like that. Every one of these are special. What? So weird. Two more turns of Aura Veil. Let's protect to get a little bit more HP. Because they get a defense boost while it is... Uh, Going. Pop in hand. Okay. Bop, 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 bop. Lizard fails. Okay. So we got 14 points of HP from that. Mm. Drop has no effect. We can really crash. And also go for the double. Let's wave crash. I don't want to go for the double. Oop. Could not move. There was a helping hand that didn't go. Wave crash. Knocks out the nine tails. No aura avail for you, and I get full rain to hit you in the face. And the recoil wasn't that bad. Blizzard. Possibly misses it or dodges it. Okay. So. Now we know that it's light clay. The aura avail is now gone. We're going to protect. Earthquake's not going to do anything now. We're going to protect. We're going to get a little bit more HP for this turn. And then we're going to hit it really, really hard with Odor Up. And that should be plus four? No, plus three. So we know that Snow doesn't give Ice Attacks boost in their stats at all, so give it a try. Hold her up. Oof, that's a lot. Hour plus four. Wizard. Got to avoid. Don gets hit. Okay, so how long does snow last? One more turn? Alright. Get a little bit more HP. That's what we want. Now we don't have to deal with 100% blizzards. Cool. Snow stops. No more defense boosts. And we outspeed. At least I think we outspeed. Order up. Sport. Yep, that's down goes our Well, cool. first match of the night, and that was amazing. So there was a couple of things they could have done to maybe beat us. Uh I think I got incredibly lucky knowing that they were going to swap out nine tails. It made the, the best sense to swap it out, and then that's when like uh, the earthquake just did a lot more damage. I want to say that the, that the Articuno was spec, and because it was spec, it locked them into something like that. Which is kind of why I was like swung away from using Aloha Nine Tails in my own team, just because of the fact that like, well, yeah, you can help in hand, but you're not getting a lot out of it, unfortunately. I think Chi and Pal might have been like a better uh, better benefit from that. But who knows? Anyways, let's move forward. All right, we got Cornatus, Incarnate, Landorus, Darien. Wow, haven't seen him in a long time. Uh, Archaludon, 
Bronzor, Urshifu, and Fluttermane. Okay, so it's probably going to be a rain team because of our Chelodon. That doesn't mean that that's exactly what's going to happen, but that's where my mind goes when I see this particular team. Uh, we will need to pr uh, have um, Trick Room on priority because of Bronzor. Or not Bronzor, Bronzong. Um, I don't think they will though. I will have to make sure I don't swap in like the Dawn when Landris comes out. One, we could walk in with Iron Moth. You know what? Let's try that. Iron Moth, uh, Roaring Moon. We won't worry about. Actually, we will. I think Thorniness is going to be added. Yeah, we won't. We won't worry about uh, Trick Room per se. Uh, I don't think Landris is going to be added. I think Bronzong is going to be in it. I think. Um, Tornadus is going to be in it. I think those two are going to be in it for sure. And then like, because there's a lot of Pokemon that either go really, really fast or incredibly slow. Uh, in this particular matchup, who, who are they going to bring in? I don't know, but uh, let's see. Oof. Okay, so they got Tornadus and Landris. Um, Okay, so speed was heightened, so now I'm the fastest thing on the field. Uh, do I have anything to knock out any of these Pokemon? Let's do that. Actually, no. Let's do Tailwind, and I'm gonna Thunder Wave the Tornadus. So I wanna slow down uh, Tornadus. So I'm probably not gonna do a whole lot. Because he still has Prankster, right? We, we both get that. Uh, Thunder Wave goes off, par like paralyzes him. That's cool. The one goes off, which is totally fine. Um, Landers goes next. Oh no, I go next. I'm also gonna Tailwind, so we have a double setup. And here comes the Rock Slayer, which goes Thunders. Yep, Thunders goes down. And now we'll just bring up the Dawn. And I'm gonna protect. No, no, I'm not. I wanna swap. I got Tatsu. Terra Fairy. Yeah, and then we're gonna hit um, Landers. I think that's the best combo. I think that Landris is Scarfed. So we might not be able to outspeed it, but with a plus two, we might be able to. We stop at 170... Here we're 174 without Tailwind. It's unlikely, but we might be able to, to do it. Now he wasn't doing a ton of damage with um, Rock Slam either. So it's probably Scarf, but we can only hope that we uh, get the best thing for our buck. Very base, drops our speed two stages. Rock slide. Not to avoid. Not to hit. Please don't get the flinch. Nope. We crash. Down goes Landorus. Now the recoil is going to definitely take a lot out of us. Unfortunately, we did take a little bit more. Okay. Bonzong comes out. We're going to... We're going to order up on the Tornadus. I think Bronzong is going to use um, Trick Room. Would would make no sense to use Dryware Ball. Terra's going to go on. Comes Water. Okay. They were probably thinking that maybe um, Wave Crash would come out. Now Earthquake could have done some damage, but they have Levitate, so I'm not going to worry about it. up. Ooh. What's that? Well, I do outspeed everything on the field. Liquid Storm's going to miss Tatsu and. 
the dawn. That's good. Uh, iron defense. Okay, so that's body press set. Body press. And... Let's go ahead. I've seen three. They've seen mine. Go ahead and get rid of Tornadus. Now Tornadus could be swapped out and they could bring their neck their fourth. It would probably make a little bit more sense if they did that. I do have to worry about Bronzong though. But I do have Pokemon in the back that I can possibly do something with. Like. up. Knocks down Tornadus. Thank you, Thunderwave. You have been extremely helpful. And now we got plus four Fireball. Uh, not, not as super effective as you'd like it to be. Uh, Gyro Ball does about speed, right? Okay, Talon's gone for both teams. I think it's that's how it goes. It might be dealt with weight, but I think it's speed. I'm going to order up on the Urshifu. a lot but I can't I can't protect so I can't do anything about this I'm hoping that I get like the major crit hit here though are you sashed you're not set well you could be but I uh, I hit you with a ball oh I live with one health you should have just knocked me out should have just knocked me out oh I would have loved this the, the switch in there um I wish I could swap. I wish I could swap. Tatsu is going to be like an open target. Sucks. Alright, let's just hit Urshifu. Hit the strikes. Yep, there goes the Dawn. Kinda, it kind of makes me like sad that I do not have like my, my speed fish. Fireball. Oh no, Trick Room. Okay. Oh, interesting. Why did you activate that? Enjoying Moon. You do not have any more in the back, so they're just the two. Uh, Draco Meteor there. And I'm going to Acrobatics. This is regular. Dragon Pulse there. Acrobatics. There. I think it's Scarfed. If they did Trick Room and it was like the exact opposite, I press. Doesn't knock out the. Uh... Oh. You're not Scarfed. That's interesting. I thought you were. But I don't think Dragon Pulse is going to be able to knock me out. Pulse. This is a game loss. I'm locked in Dragon Pulse. They have Trick Room open, and I can't do anything for three turns. So we're done. Dang, they outplayed me. I even said, like, maybe we have to worry about Trick Room, and, it, and I thought, like, maybe if they're bringing out Trick Room, I would have to bring in Frigorath. I'd hate it. I, I wanted to be the, the player that did a lot of offensive stuff, and I did. Absolutely, I did. Um, but I wish that the Dawn would have been knocked out a turn before. If he was knocked out a turn before, it would have been a little bit easier because then I could have applied pressure onto the Urshifu because, you know, I, I might have still been faster um, and I would have been able to put a little bit more pressure on top of with Tatsugiri. So with that being said, it's kind of like, eh, I mean, I, I didn't have a whole lot after that, but good game nonetheless. Let's move on. Okay, so in this particular team, we've got Fluttermane, Walking Wake, Entei, Torkoal, Anto Zapdos and his 
Is it Hisuian or is it just regular Ursa Luna? Is, can you call it Hisuian or Ursa Luna? Anyway, let me know in the comments. I'm just gonna call it Ursa Luna. It seems to be the regular one, but it did come in Hisuian. So, uh, Ursa Luna. So, we're kind of looking at a Hailwind Sun team or a Trick Room user that is like Flutter main for Ursa Luna or anyone to deal with, you know, uh, Trick Room. So, in this particular matchup, we probably want to apply as much pressure as I mean, possible. Since Zapdos is coming, let's go Iron Moth, Roaring Moon. If Iron Moth appear, or not Iron Moth, but Zapdos appears, we can't Thunder Wave it, which means it gets a free turn to do whatever. It's still Electric Flying, and I think Electric Resist itself, which means the only weakness that I could do is possibly using something to lower down the effect effectiveness of uh, a fly maybe ice icy wind could help i wish i chi and pal on my team it seems like when i get up to the higher ranks a lot of the uh meta pokemon start showing up like the incineroars the rillabooms the raging bolts all of those can be countered by chi and pal i don't want to like go to that automatically but it would be good okay so we have walking wake and um, Zapdos. And... Let's see. We go... Yes, Discharge and we can do Sludge Wave. The thing is, if I Terra now, it's going to be like a bad match. So we will... Do the dazzling and uh, ink and then a terra acrobatics walking away. Probably like the worst decision. Could have also protected, but I want to put a lot of pressure immediately on that walking weight before it can knock me out. I think I can out eat it right now with uh, iron moth okay it protected so that's not gonna do me any good at all oh they doubled okay i'm okay with that i'm absolutely okay with that i thought it was gonna be something completely different so i'm absolutely okay with that Okay, so how do I come back from this? Iron Moth has one seven eight, so we do outspeed most things on the field outside of um, Galen. We're going to apply pressure on to Zapdos now. We're going to do the Dazzling so it hits both, and then we're going to knock off whatever Zapdos has. Zapdos retreats. Okay. Interesting. Can't read that. Uh, Torkoal. Okay. Let this boost. Speed was heightened. Uh-oh. There it goes to a Walking Wake. This is also not great. Switches it to poison. I do have something in the back to be able to deal with that. I throw a steam. And Moth goes down. It was unfortunate. The life orb. Yep. Oh. Dawn. I'm gonna do Earthquake. And... I'm gonna protect. I don't really have to swap to, to Tatsu right now. Be, like, I mean, Walking Wake is gonna go faster than the Dawn. I think it also will go faster than Roaring Moon, 
I don't really have anything to fear. Hydro, yep, Hydro Steam goes there. The Dawn is going to attack first before Torkoal. And should knock out Torkoal and maybe do some decent damage on. Doesn't knock out Torkoal. That he uses Yawn. Go ahead and do this then. Yeah, you can already have your your sun stuff, but I'm gonna take advantage of that when you have to knock out the dawn now. He's gonna be really really hard to take down now. Even though that you did yawn, the damage that I just did now proves something to me. Just, I don't have the correct one. If I wanted to have the, the Dawn solo, I have to swap it out to someone else. Uh, they're gonna swap Torkoal to bring out. I can't read that. Um, Zapdos, okay. So you did that to have a good, decent swap in. Tatsu avoids. Earthquake. Tatsu uh, avoids as well as Zapdos. But I am gonna knock down um walking light. Now I did leave it open so Zapdos can clean up Dawn. And now he's asleep. Uh Torkoal? Nope, that's not Torkoal. Ursaluna. Okay. Huh? We have to have a turn of sleep, I think. I think that's how Yon works. I know Spore is a dedicated turn. I don't think Yon does the same. Nope. Okay, that's fine. Thunderbolt. That's a lot. Sod. Not burnt yet. To heal up. There's the burn. Protect. is going down. Ah, oh, dang it. In that church. Gots is going to go down here too. Facade's going to do more damage. I hate the fact that I can't do anything with Tatsu. That part bugs me. Just literally bugs me. Okay. Morning moon. Okay. Let's see what I can do here. Back with Titans. Let's think. Three on one. Is burnt. Yeah, that's it. Acrobatics. I get a attack boost. No item. Oh, okay. Thunderbolt and ammo. Not a crit. That sucks. And that's why you always save Terra for Dawn so that he can survive. Now, bringing an Iron Moth, first time I brought him in in a while, uh, not a fan. <laughs> but we we have to figure out what he's good for, and once we figure that out, it'll be so much easier to use him. Because then we'll understand how he should be built. I think that he'll have a little bit more use if he gets the ability of using Booster Energy. But then the question becomes, what do I put Roaring Moon with? And then if I'm the other thing is too that we can swap out Iron Maw, and if we do that, then what's the point of having Thunderous? It's like the whole challenge was to use a team that has a benefit of Electric Terrain, and we've seen that benefit. Is it benefiting us right now? No, but it doesn't mean that we won't benefit later. Though, so something that we have to consider. 
Anyways, let's move on. Okay, so we got Roaring Moon, Torkoal, Blood Moon, Ursaluna, Fluttermain, Frigraph, and Cornerstone, Ogre Pod. Interesting. So we will not be able to apply a lot of priority because of the Frigraph, at least right off the bat. Uh, we could go in with our own Frigraph, but I don't think that's going to really do a whole lot. What we could do is prevent Frigraph from doing anything. I think Cornerstone is probably going to like redirect it in some way. I kind of want to bring in Thunderous, but I don't know if that's going to be the best. We'll, we'll go with our core four, the Thunderous Roaring Moon. Uh, we'll probably look at the team a little bit more after this video, just so that we can kind of see what Iron Moth brings to the table. I know it has four attacking moves with life orb. I'm just trying to figure out like a good build for them. They're based on speed and not special attack, which makes them one point lower than um, Roaring Moon. So we can still do like a ton of damage. I just gotta figure out what I wanna do. Frigoraf and Roaring Moon. So we effectively can't do anything on our end. I mean, we could still attack, right? But we can't, we can't do anything on our side. What we're gonna do is knock off on the Frigraph because they're probably gonna set up Trick Room or do like a lot of damage off the bat. But we're going to set up and try to knock it out in one turn. And I believe that we can do that once the boost energy has been activated. And then we're gonna also change our Terra to, uh, our type into flying so that we don't get knocked out or anything else. Protect on Thunderous, but their Roaring Moon and Furgraph hasn't done anything yet. Um, knock off on my end, goes right to Furgraph and knocks it out. Now priority is active again. So Roaring Moon does what? Killing? Just break gets knocked off. Breaking Swipe. So you lowered my attack one stage. Which is good, don't get me wrong. That is an amazing thing. That is a minus one. But now I made it so now I cannot Terra on the Dawn. Which is fine, he didn't have an electric type that I have to worry about. So I think carrying on Roaring Moon is a little bit better. Uh, Torkoal. Route kicks in. And speed was heightened. Okay. Well, I'm going to do this. And then I'm going to go ahead and just knock off Oracle. So I don't want you to do anything that you're thinking about doing. And I'm going to hack your speed. Like now. What's really cool is that when you do Thunder Wave, it doesn't do the 50% that was just recently added. It does 50% of the maximum. Which is really, really dope. Protect on the Roaring Moon, which is totally fine. Thunder Wave, which is going to fail. And I'm going to knock off on the Chorkle. Still a lot. But I'm going to knock off the Chorkle. Now it's not going to do as much. Another ball. Okay. And you still get the knockout? Really? That's, that's dope. Love that for you. I don't. But love that. It's so cool. Okay, we got the Dawn. Now we're doing this in the pretense that Dawn is going to have a little bit harder time dealing with what we're trying to deal with. So I'm going to go in and um, I'm going to protect. That's what I'm going to do first turn. I'm going to protect. So that I can get my stuff in, and then next turn, I will then do the earthquake. I don't think they've Terra yet, and they've seen three Pokemon, and I've seen three of theirs. Oracle is two thirds the way. It has two uh, two thirds of his health. Wave Crash is doing fifty percent less. Oh, I'm stupid. Oh, I'm stupid. Jump. That's gonna keep thunderous into the into the thing. It's fine. Weather ball. Perfect. 
I am stupid. He's a dark type. I am stupid. Now we're gonna paralyze that guy. And I'm going to order up on the Warring. Up in hand. This is probably gonna do a lot of damage to the Dawn. And the way up on the Torkoal. Forgot that he's dark type. I totally forgot he was dark type. Dawlock. I mean, that's a lot of damage to the Dawn. Drop. Okay. And next turn, he goes to, for protect. And I'm going to Wild Bolt. And protect. I'm trying to run out the sun. As in, speed goes down, and then I can possibly outspeed, but I'm just doing a lot of, like, a lot of chip damage, too. Is until Roaring Moon leaves, I can't swap Pokemon. Okay. Now he could knock out Thunderous, but then that puts in a Pokemon he doesn't want to have on the field. Uh, Bolt misses, but we'll hit the total. Ooh, it's a lot. Weather Ball goes off to protect. Wild Bolt and uh, we'll order up again. Should go for the double, but I don't think it's really gonna matter. Right now, Roaring Moon outspeeds me, and I can't do anything about it. It comes up in hand again. I can swipe. Okay. Drop us attack by one stage. Let's just get the KO though on order up. It does. Okay. And the sun is finally gone? Yes, it is. You can't swap, you're down to your last two. And I'm also down to my last two. There's someone that comes out. That's not good. That's not good at all. However, it might be good. So now we get doubled in all of our stats. Including speed. We only get plus one to attack, but that's okay. We're down to the last two. Yeah. Earthquake. I got a Terra. It's gonna go straight to the Ursaluna. Okay. Normal. Yep. For the Hyper Voice and the Blood Moon bonus. Helping hand on the Torkoal. This is probably gonna knock down uh, the Dawn. I don't really have a way to negate anything that uh, that Mon can do. It's not like I can just like, oh, I'm gonna tear a ghost. Mind's Eye goes right through that. And also hit fighting things too. Which is totally fine. Okay. Torkoal's down. This is a life orb. Alright. Let's, let's hope and pray. This is a special, like a, a special defense bulky Pokemon. So, it may not be enough, but we'll give it a shot. I outspeed it. I got Spark. And I've got full investment. Okay. Protect. Thank God my stats don't drop once that goes off for tax. You gonna go for the double? Nope, Draco Meteor hits. And it gets the KO. Okay. Okay. 
even with even with all of that bolt i don't even know how they built it to be honest uh, when i'm looking over my own ursulina when i was using it the first time which i would love to use it again uh, but i definitely used the wrong components and it's really really hard to build a, a hard trick room team everyone has a counter for it you're either using single strike or shifu roaring moon with knockoff or even just lower like uh, overly slow pokemon just so that you can be like realistically right so that way you can realistically uh, keep up within trick room but you always want to use like the extra 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 slow but once trick room fails you can have severe disadvantage so it's it's weird uh, but it's still fun i just wish i was better at running trick room teams but anyway let's move on blood moon or saluna bronzong uh Ferrigarath, sinistia thunderous is incarnate and a swian typhlosion uh, so we have a lot of things on this list and a lot of things on this list terrify me quite a bit um they're gonna set up brick room uh and i don't really know how to, to get away from that if they bring for a graph i can't use any priority so i'm kind of stuck in that regard and it's just gonna be a little bit of a problem for the dawn so i kind of want to bring in growing moon have it to deal with that problem specifically um can also bring an iron moth that will be able to deal with that with that problem as well so i think this time we'll bring in iron moth glowing moon dawn and tatsu it should be like like maybe not bringing in tatsugiri in that match or in this match i should say is uh, a little bit better that way if they do activate trick room i do get the ability to compete in the, in the speed tiers so the coolest thing is I didn't see anyone that would particularly take advantage of like him not tearing. So that's something I have to consider. Okay, Fergaraf and uh Typhlosion. Frisk. Activates booster energy, which could get activated now. So the question is, because I know this like this is a trick room team, right? Like I can easily tell that this is a trick room team. Um I don't really want to do any of these moves, to be honest with you. I kind of just want... I want to save that. Let's swap to Don Dozo, and I want to knock off for Rigorath. Like, I do know that Typhlosion is going to be really, really hard hitting, but I need to stop Trick Room. I think that's the... Thing that I need to stop now. It could like beat me, and that could be like the goodest thing that they could have done. Here comes eruption. Well, that's scarfed. Knock off. Knock. It's gonna knock out Brigarath. Now we don't have to deal with um, Brick Room. Ice band. Wait, what? I am dumbfounded. What? Um, activate Earthquake, and I'm gonna Terra. I'm gonna Acrobatic. Um, I am gonna Terra. Yeah, Terra Acrobatic into. Uh, Sinistra. Sinistra should, like, I should immediately, immediately change uh, Dawn, but I can't. Terra goes on to the uh, Typhlosion, which is Terra Fire. Okay. This person's like top, like, 2000. And they had Choice Band on Ferrigora? Did I read that right, or did my dyslexia pick that? Just I saw a choice band. That's insane. And now we have Terra Fire coming in for, um, not Terra Fire, but yeah, Terra Fire on there. Rage Powder on um, the Sinistra, which is totally fine. Eruption comes in. I don't think it's going to do that much damage. Could. It does knock down the Roaring Moon, which is, it does stink a little bit. But um, here comes 
It's gotta be Scar. Comes to Earthquake. Okay. Mon heals up a little bit. Let's bring back out Iron Ma. We're going to protect. And I'm going to Fiery Dance. The Sinistra. He's used his Terra on the Typhlosion, which took a lot. The Typhlosion now retreats. So now we get to see his last Pokemon. There it is. Bronzong. Okay. On protects. Fire dance. It's. Are you serious? Mach gotcha, which is gonna fail on the dawn. He's fully, fully, fully invested into special attack. Wait, nope, that's a lie. Never mind. I lied. He's not. If he was, it would be a little bit better, but no, if he had boost energy, speed would be the investment that was in that slot. Um, we're going to swap the Dawn out now? Well, we, we might not be able to. Well, we might not have to. Uh, but I did use the Terra, and he is going to use Macha Gacha again. We do. Order up. Fiery Dance again. I'm hoping to get the special attack boost. Ooh. Yep, there it is. Uh, order up. Yep. Okay, good. So I do outspeed Sinistra. So yeah, it's another... You have trick room people. Oh, that's what I thought. Well, I mean, you still activate a trick room. That's totally fine. Who's your last? I believe you swap someone out. Probably Ursulina. And if it's it, if it is, I mean, check me. But, uh. No, it's Typhlosion. That's right. And the, the activated Trick Room in Typhlosion, he's faster. What is your. What? What is. What? We're wave Crash, and. I'm gonna Fiery Dance. I have a plus, plus one body press. Not very effective. Crash. Ah. It's down, Typhlosion. I think he had to be Scarf, right? There'd be no reason to do specs. Manage by the recoil. Fire Damp. Do I get another boost? I'd be dope if I did. Um, nope, but I did knock down the Brong. Brong Zong. Hey, cool. Went three and two. Yeah, this person's like in the top 2300s. Maybe like top 24s. I gotta. I am. My mind is blown. My mind is blown. It's blown. I did not read Choice Standard Paragraph, right? Did I read that? Maybe he had specs. I don't know. That looked like banned to me. Anyways, uh, that. Yeah. Let's move on. Well, Pokefans, it's gonna be the end of today's video. As you can clearly see, we are currently. Uh, 9,565, 33 matches in, 16 wins, and 17 losses. That's a pretty good record for a team that we haven't been playing with a whole lot. So, with that being said, here's a couple of things that I have that I've been saving for the end. Cool new assets are going to be created for the game, and hopefully uh, going to be doing like an intro slash outro that's a little bit more of a conceived motion or makes this a little bit easier so that I can just focus on recording battles and not necessarily have to worry about the edits but i still try to make sure that the quality of life is in good standings that way i'm not too jarring in your guys's ears also this team will have a due date so we will do as much as we can until this upcoming thursday so thursday is the last day that we will have this team and then friday on the 19th is when we start our team b so the second team to see how we do with that and then we then switch over to regulation g and i'm hoping i'm really hoping that our team that we selected for regulation g is going to be fun it's going to be a wealth or a well full of information 
and uh, we'll do our best to rock it out then. But for now, we're going to be rocking out with this team, make our changes if we need to, and then try to fix the kinks. And we've got just a few, few more days left. But I want to thank you guys for watching one more time. If you guys don't mind leaving a like on the video, if you liked it, just like it. If you didn't, please leave a comment down below of, everything, of anything and everything you guys saw in today's match. I do reply to any and all comments that you guys leave behind. If you guys want to reach out to me in other ways, you can look in the description for my Twitter account, as well as the Discord account that I created just for this content here. And we do discuss these quite often. And if you guys want to join that and hear what I have to say on a more permanent basis, please let me know and uh, join. And it's free. Obviously, it's not like a Patreon thing. And uh, yeah, you don't have to worry about it. Just come in and grab some info, maybe some uh, free codes that you guys can use to like use the team, like rental codes and stuff like that. So yeah, there's, there's that. If you are a brand new viewer of mine, hello, I'm greeting you. My name is Matt and I build VGC content teams using them from like building teams from scratch. And I like to change up teams every so often. About two per month. And that is from the recommendations of the guys here in the description, not description, but the, the comments. They want to have two more teams, want a little bit more variety. So I try to satisfy them as much as I can. If you are a returning viewer, please consider hitting the subscribe button as it does help out the channel. And we're trying to hit a goal of 400. Well, no, we've already hit 450, my bad. Uh, we're trying to hit 500. Now with that goal, we start moving uh, milestones along and you guys get a video that's specialized for 500 subscriber video. I still don't know what I'm going to do, but I will do something uh, special. I'm hoping so we can have fun together and it helps me get closer to a YouTube plaque. And that's the goal that I want to have. I just want a YouTube plaque. I don't really want anything else. I would love to continue doing what I do. I want to continue learning and teaching as much as I can about Pokemon BGC and what teams do well and what Mons do well or not using different methods and stuff like that. But if I can get a YouTube plaque, that would be perfect. I just want it next to my diplomas. Like I have two, so I, I would like a YouTube plaque, please. <laughs> and if you guys can help me out with that, that would be perfect. If you want to be notified when I upload next, go ahead and click the notification bell over on the right and select it to all. If I don't plan on uploading anything, it's going to be listed in the community tab as well as my Twitter account. So you guys can follow those carefully, but I do plan on uploading every single day this month. I know I've already missed a couple, but real life things come in and those take precedence over recorded videos. I hope you guys understand, but for now, that's all that I've got. So remember, leave a comment down below. Let me know, let me know how you guys thought of today's video. The teams, let me know what photograph dropped at the end. I'm a little confused myself. Um, this team's gonna be done and retired after the 18th, and then we'll move on to a brand new team. And yeah, hit the like button, subscribe, and I will see you guys next time. Till then, take care of yourselves and have a great day. Peace.